here we are. We're back. We are still in Hillsboro. Hills Burrito. <laughs> Two tall cameraman is with us again this week. And it's funny, I say things like Hills Burrito and he just shakes his head, but he's white. So he's, you know, he just can't believe that I say these kinds of things. But you know what? It's cool. You know, we need to embrace all our differences and all our cultural differences. You know what? If we can't laugh at ourselves, then what's the point, really? We are here, like I said, Hills, Hills Burrito, and we are at Beto's Tacos. It's this tiny little truck. Get over there or take a look over there real quick. There you go. It's actually in the back part of the Les Schwab Tire Center place. And I, I was driving by and I just looked over for half a second and saw this little place and I was like, holy jeez, there's a taco place in there. All right, we gotta, we gotta put it on the list. Put it on the old bandito list. So we're here, we got the carne asada burrito, eight bucks. That's pretty dang affordable right there. Tell you what, if they can, <clears throat> ooh, Fast and Furious just went by. I think, yeah, that was Dominic Toretto. Pretty sure. Uh, let's see what we got here. Eight bucks. That's pretty dang good. That's in the right price range. It's very affordable. Let's see what we got here. Uh huh. Classic pepper paper. I'm down with that. <clears throat> oh, all right. That's uh, settling in nicely. Ooh, I like the crisp. Ooh, hold on. Let me get the mic real close so you can hear the. Oh, yeah. They put that on the griddle. Nice and crispy. And let's weigh her up. See what we got here. Nice and warm. I love how that thing just settles in. It's just like, blah. Uh, 0.97. So not quite a pound. But, you know, Javier's, I believe, which is an Elite 8 burrito, was 1.07, I think. <clears throat> so, you know, it does have to be within that pound to be Elite 8. But... Like I said, the from Javier's, it wasn't barely over a pound, and it but it was all meat. So you know, we you never know what you're gonna find here. But so let's get this thing over here and get her cut up. Turn off the scale there. Bust out the K bar for my military brothers and friends. Um, side note: I say military brothers. I have not served. But I have lots of family, lots of friends that have served. I don't want to get that confused or have anybody say, hey, you're telling people you served in the military. So, but didn't serve, but we have a great respect for our military here on the Bandito channel. Oh, yeah. So we got, it's not quite um, as full of meat as I'd like to see. But then again, it's all kind of laying flat right now. So... I'm not positive. It could be more meat in the depths of that burrito. But it looks like I got lettuce, rice, beans, carne, and uh, <clears throat> so we'll see what we find. Too tall. You want left or right? That Ooh, left this time. He went right last week. And I'm stealing that little... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It's definitely got that crispy uh, tortilla on the outside. I think some I, somebody had a theory a while back that's why Mexican dudes like redheads because they got freckles and their freckles look like a cooked tortilla, and so like it just reminds them of a happy place. So maybe it's true. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna come in hot, let her wobble, and hopefully the mic can pick up the crispiness because I feel it in my hands. It's like. That crispiness, it's not the buttery crispiness, it's the more dry <coughs> crispiness. Excuse me, see I'm getting all choked up, emotional. Um, this, this crispiness reminds me of home. Um, it's definitely a warm, fuzzy feeling 
So, yeah, coming in hot. Mm hmm. Good meat. It's just, oh, so on a cold night like this, a br warm burrito is just heaven. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Look at that crispy flake. Mmm. Mmm. So, <clears throat> not quite as filled with meat as I'd like to see. Mmm. They didn't overdo it with the beans and rice, which is nice. Um, it tells me they're not cheap. So they're doing something right. They have respect for their craft, which is commendable. Um, a little underweight, but it's also underpriced. So for Beto's Tacos, we're going to have to go 7, 8. Pretty good. If I lived right around here, I'd be here hanging out, <coughs> talking to the locals, shooting the breeze, catching some rays, cruising some chicks. Uh, <laughs> but um, but no, great little local spot. Honestly, this is the kind of place that we want to support. So if you're in the area, you're in Hillsboro, I swear it's right in the back of the Les Schwab Tire Center right there. Um, come on out, support them. Let's keep our local businesses alive. We just hit over 500 followers on Facebook. And so let's do the same thing to the YouTube channel. Let's get that one numbers bumped up a little bit and we can reach more people. So we can keep supporting these local small businesses. So remember, until next time, I am the Burrito Bandito and you're not. And that is our review. 100% grandma approved.